lot of things that generally taint our perception of God. Five things that generally taint our perception of God. Notice I said generally, which means that these five things are not all encompassing which means that there are some things that I may not speak about that may be inside of this cup that you may be dealing with that you got to say, you know what, Pastor? Although you didn't mention this particular thing, it's in that cup. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. well, you know, I like interaction. Talk to me, somebody. The first thing, say first. 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 What? <laughs> what you say. In my notes, I got it bolded. I got exclamation points beside it because don't you know that the same ones who think that they know you be, before you got saved, they think they know you once you got saved? <laughs> now, 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 you know what I'm going to do, right? Because people can be a negative influence on us. See what happened to that cup? The cup that was pure with water, now it's starting to become what? Tainted. Tainted. Because we allow people to, to, to come in and distract us from the things of God. The Bible declares in Galatians chapter 5 verse 7, the New Living says this, You were running the race so well, who has held you back from following the truth? When you out there and you getting it, man, you getting it, you getting it. You know, you tell yourself, I'm going to start a new fitness program. I'm going to start going to church. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop cussing. I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, right? And the moment you get yourself engaged and you start this process, here come old sorry Larry. <laughs> My name is Larry. <laughs> and, and Larry is saying, man, why are you doing that? You start calling Larry. Larry the loser. Why, why are you going to the gym? Why are you changing your diet? Why are you going to church? Why are you doing all these things? And you remember initially, your cup was as clear as water. But you start to allow the seeds from Larry to get into your mind. And get this, the Bible doesn't say from the abundance of the mind, the mouth speaks. It says from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And we start speaking from our heart because Larry that got on our nerves. <laughs> and when it get into our hearts, it's gotten to a bad place. Mm. Galatians 5 and 7, the international version says this, You were running the race beautifully. <laughs> Who cut in on you and stopped you from obeying the truth? Now, I know traffic here can be quite the bear. And people cut in on you all the time. It be raining. It can be sun, it can be shining, and, and you can be in tip tight traffic, and somebody's going to cut in on you. What, what's the thoughts going through your mind? Not coming out your mouth, but going through your mind. The nerve of this joke is going to cut me off. Don't they know I'm going to church? Come on, get with the program, baby. I and mean, then get out of my way. And we start praying, Lord, open up all this stuff. But what happened is, the traffic was flowing beautifully, and someone cut you off. And that person cut you off, it changed your entire attitude. Yes. It changed how you were thinking. It changed you from worshiping God and praising God to like, man, I, woo, <laughs> he have a flashback. <laughs> you know I'm right about it. Amen. Amen. You were running the race beautifully. Say beautifully. Beautifully. And who cut in on you and stopped you from obeying the truth? The Bible says nothing shall be able to separate you from the love of God. Come, what, death, hell, you know, things past, present, nothing shall separate you from the love of God. If nothing can separate you from the love of God, then that means that you have to make up in your minds that regardless of what people say, you're not going to allow them to have you looking like them. Amen. Hmm. Hmm. You got to shout because I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm right about it. 